On a final note, positive note, yes. what do you say to someone who is on the fence? They want to do it. They feel it in their heart, but they're nervous. They're afraid. How are my friends going to react? How are my family going to react? What advice do you have for those people? Beautiful, mashallah. Jazakallah khairan. Um, you know, as I mentioned, we may have people here who are in those crossroads and kind of not sure. It's part of, um, you know, life that we're going to be faced with choices in every situation, right? We're always at the crossroads of something. But when it comes to what will propel you or draw you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to kind of, you know, start thinking that that should, the answer of that choice should be pretty simple, right? And hijab is one definite way that we draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because any action where we obey, Allah draws us closer to Him, right? But as I said, it might be a matter of time for you of when to do that. So you want to, you know, pace yourself, but just make a lot of dua. I'm always telling people, like, if you're really, really confused about something, where's the istikhara? Where's the tahajjud? Get up and cry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Really show the sincerity of the crisis you're in or the confusion you're in. And watch what happens. Because when you do that sincerely, like you're confused, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will start to make things very easy for you. He'll make it very obvious for you. And all of a sudden you'll realize, you know what? This, is, this just feels right. And also, this is a follow-up to that. Don't look at hijab as something you either have to wear permanently or never wear at all. Please don't do that. Because for some people, like prayer, it comes incrementally. So you, some people start praying like Fajr and Isha and then they add on Dhuhr, Asr and Maghrib. Some people do all five at once. With the hijab, the best thing to do, and I actually learned this from one of my closest friends who for years, everybody thought she was a hijabi but she wasn't. What she did is she wore it most of the time in places where she felt very supported to wear hijab and she became a hijabi, you get it? Because as she wore it more and more, like to the grocery store, to Trader Joe's, to you know, the gym, to the doctor's office, the identity of becoming a hijabi became one with her identity. But she didn't have this rule that said, oh, I have to wear it or I don't. And I think that is a very detrimental message that women get because you would never tell someone who's struggling with their prayer, you can't pray any of the prayers until you pray all five. Would you do that? Of course not. You would say pray, make, uh, you know, make the best effort possible and inshallah in your prayer and in the action of doing your prayer consistently, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then begin to facilitate for you and next thing you know you'll be praying all your prayers. Same with hijab, so wear it like to the masjid, wear it to gatherings of, you know, where, where you feel supported, wear it to places where you feel safe, wear it in the car if you can, just become infused with the hijab so that one day you wear it and you don't ever take it off, inshallah. I mean, eventually, but you know what I mean. Alhamdulillah, barakallah fiki. Allah, mashallah, barakallah fiki, ustazah.